Good morning folks, we are back again at Kenzone One Stop Auto Care and Kalana Jaya SS6. Yes, the Alfetta is here. This has now become Ken's show car. Everybody comes to the shop and ogles the car. But of course, he's got his own very beautiful car. And folks, don't forget, the promotion is still going on, yeah? The Momo Racing All promotion is still going on. Morning, Ken. How are you? So, how's the promotion been going? Yeah. Good. A lot of my viewers have been coming, right? Yep. To take advantage of this promotion. I mean, it's a really good promotion. I mean, look at that. Mobile One for 180, all-inclusive. Castrol Edge. Also 180 all inclusive. You want something slightly cheaper? You've got uh, Mobile Super 2000 for 150. So lots of promotions going on. So, but I think the free gift all finished already, right? Again, still got. Still got ah. Uh. Whoa! Did you hear that, folks? There's still free gifts to be had. So why am I here today? Yes, it's me. Hi, folks. How's it going? Long time no see. Yes, we've still got the uh, tire and rim promotions going on as well. So why am I here today? Well, for one reason. Oi! For one reason, <laughs> the laser, yeah. Now folks, I've always said this to you. The two most important components of your car, any car, doesn't matter whether it's an old car or a new car, newish car, the two most important components, your brakes and your tires, okay? Because that's the only thing that's stopping you from ending up as a statistic, all right? So never skimp on your brakes, never skimp on your tires. You can see my tires are brand new. But I was having a bit of a braking problem. I think it's the brake master pump for the, uh, for the laser. It just didn't feel right when I was modulating the brakes. Did not feel right. Come in and check it out while they're doing it. Change the brake pads if they're worn out. So yeah, I mean, power is nothing without control. Pirelli says that all the time. Actually, I've been saying that a long time already. Power is nothing without control. Don't play the fool. Literally, don't play the fool with your brakes and your tires. Always make sure they are in optimum condition, yeah? There's no point going fast if you can't stop. Right, so, why else am I here? Ooh, Watanabe's. Nice. Can yeah, Later, this rim you put on my car, okay? I like. <laughs> so, why am I here today? And I'll tell you exactly why. I'll show you exactly why. Yes, I have not bought a Range Rover Evoque. No. As you know, the Project Honda Accord SM4 is ongoing and yes, the car is drivable. Ken just washed it for me, but more than that, he has... Ken, can you, can you open the bonnet? Oh, look at that. Yes, so the last thing we're going to do, of course, is the uh, paint job. But before that, I have not driven this car and it's drivable. As you can see, the rear bumper is in already. The new rear bumper is there. And uh, I think, Ken, you detailed my, uh, my engine for me, is alright? Yeah. Wow, let's have a look, let's have a look. Yes. Tires, new tires will be going on soon. But these are still okay to drive the car here and there. And maybe for a short test drive. But ah, there she is, and a brand new battery as well. Check it out. KZ, that's your initials, bro. Ken yeah. Zone. Nice. So, yes, new bumper has been put in. Can you full check the car already, right? Yeah, the, the, the lights are working. The, yeah. So yeah, so today is the, the moment of truth. We are actually gonna test drive this car. I still can't get over how beautiful the, uh, the rear seats are. This executive model, as you can see, there's a badge there that says executive. This executive model, I think, was supposed to be chauffeur driven. That's why the back seats are like two different seats. Lovely. But that being said, even the front seats are gorgeous and still in very, very nice condition. Ah, can't wait to drive this thing. So stay tuned. I'm gonna drive this car for the first time today and check it out. Look at that. Double wishbone suspension all around. It was expensive to produce when new. So the subsequent models went back to McPherson struts, but DWS was from F1 technology and uh, Honda used it. Honda was huge into F1 when this car, in the 90s, when this car came out. So they used that technology for their passenger cars. And uh, sadly, because it was so expensive to produce, 
and uh, not a money-making proposition, they discontinued it. But this car has them, and we're gonna find out what it's like. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. It saved about 500 bucks. It saved about 1,000 plus. It should work out cheaper for me. 4,000. You want five, even more. It's for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Folks, hey, okay, I'm in the Accord. Here's the key. Trepidation. Look up what trep trepidation means. Trepidation. Here we go. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 turn off the aircon first. As a general rule of thumb, I try not to start the car with the air conditioning running. Uh, it's the most stress on the uh, battery and the alternator and the, and the electrical system in general. But here we go, cranking. Three, two, one. Yes! Okay, I shouldn't be so excited because Ken said he already drove it around the block. So, let's get the air conditioning going. Why your country so hot, ah? But here we go with the air conditioning, full blast. Oh, straight away cold. You know old cars, sometimes the aircon comes out, the, 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 the initial air is like hot, but straight away cold. Yeah, this is good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so welcome, welcome to the Project Honda Accord SM4. Let me turn this down a little bit, but you can't hear me. There we go. So yeah, oh, Tencent, I'm rich. So, as you know, a lot of things have happened. Uh, my father passed away, God rest his soul. I'm sure he's in a better place. Thank you so much again for all the comments and uh, and uh, um, well wishes and condolences. Yeah, thank you so much for that. It's been really tough. I, and I apologize for not posting many videos, but you would not believe the amount of stuff that I've had to do in regards to the passing of my, my dad, yeah? Uh, a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. And uh, one thing was to actually clear out his condominium and uh, over the last 25, 20 years or so when he was staying there, he, my, my, I'm a bit of a hoarder and I know now where I got that gene from, yeah, from my dad, he, he hoarded a lot of stuff. And um, so, uh, you know, deciding what to throw and what to keep and being partly a hoarder myself, that was not easy because there was some stuff there that I just had to keep, you know, just for sentimental value. Uh, one day I'll show you his bicycle. He's had this bicycle since he was a kid. Yep, he bought it in the 40s and then uh, funny story or, or rather a very uh, heartwarming story during uh, the Japanese occupation of World War II Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of some wires here so that they don't uh, tangle up on my feet when I'm trying to hit the brakes Yeah, uh, During the Japanese occupation, the soldiers stole all the bicycles uh, in Tanjung Malim at the time Stole all the bicycles so that they could ride around, you know And they stole my dad's bicycle and uh, my dad, you know, he was just a kid at the time, but just imagine this, he, he watched which one had stolen his bicycle and because all the bicycles almost looked alike. And <laughs> when uh, no one was looking at four o'clock in the morning, he went back and stole his own bicycle. He stole back his bicycle, hid it underground somewhere in his house. Um, last time houses were on still, so he, he must have hidden it, some, hidden it somewhere down there and uh, waited till the war was over before he started using his bicycle again. So that bicycle has gone through a war. Talk about Providence, one day I'll show it to you. It's a very old bicycle. But anyway, back to the Honda Accord SM4. Yes, everything seems to be working. The tachometer is working. Uh, okay, is the temperature working? Because I know they overhauled the whole engine and they also overhauled the uh, cooling system. So it might be just very cold. Let's drive off and see whether everything is on the up and up. Yes, it's an automatic because I have too many manual cars already, can, can, can you believe that? I have actually too many manual cars and uh, so having an automatic is absolutely fine. So here we go, first drive of the Accord, yes! Let's see, indicators are working, good. Oh, still smooth folks, still smooth. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if this temperature meter is working or not, it should be. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, this is lovely. And I'm not even sweating because the air conditioning is lovely. And what do I mean about double wishbone suspension? Why is it so great? Okay, just very briefly in layman's terms, double wishbone suspension. Uh, yes, I already said it was F1 technology, which is true. Double wishbone suspension is probably the best compromise you can get between ride and handling, as in the handling part, and comfort very very comfortable car when you when you have double wishbone suspension but it's horrendously 
uh, difficult and expensive to reproduce or rather to produce during factory stage so they axed it they axed it yeah they didn't want to use it anymore and I uh, went to McPherson struts which is a lot cheaper but DWS DWS is the bomb really and uh, oh my goodness this car feels so this is my first SM4 by the way I've never had an Accord SM4 I had a CA3 with the pop up pop-up lights yes but I've never had an Accord SM4. This car looks terrible from the outside. I'll show it to you in a little while. But it's driving so well. No rattles, no squeaks, no shakes. Oh, this is just lovely. Let's put my foot down and see. Yes. Smooth. Very, very smooth. I'm, I'm actually... Uh, I'm, I'm a bit speechless right now because for a car that's got 554,452 kilometers on it, it's still driving really, really well. Wake up! Uh, temperature meter is not working. Uh, but everything else feels lovely. So where am I heading? Okay, I'm heading to Procast right now. Procast Tinted and Accessories. This is the, my go-to place for uh, tinting. I'm, I'm not going to do the tinting just yet. I'm going to get the central locking done and uh, check out why maybe that, that power window is, is, is jammed right now. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, there's that one. Is that off? Yep. Yep, no, not working. I'm going to check out the power windows. That's an electrical thing. So hopefully they can... Hopefully it's just a wire that's loose. But uh, knowing my luck, it's probably the whole motor that needs to be changed. But I'm not worried about that because SM4 parts are still readily available. Yeah. This is nice. Coming now, coming down to a stop. Pull up the handbrake, handbrake's working. Lovely, lovely. The car is running so well. Yeah, so stay tuned. More to come. And here we are, folks, back at Procast Tinted and Accessories in Klanajaya PJ SS5. This time, as you notice, a lot of my stuff is all around this area, pretty much. And so we're doing the uh, central locking for the car as well as a third brake light. This car does not have a third brake light for some weird reason. We're going to check the speakers and there's already a head unit in there. But uh, we're going to check the speakers and uh, make sure they're okay. I think this one's dead or that one's okay and that one's dead. But uh, the car is running so well mechanically. Running really well. Got to check out why that temperature meter is not working. It was working I think. I, I did see it move last time. But uh, yeah, not doing the tinting just yet. Just gonna get uh, some of the basics done first. Oh, and carpet mats, of course. Can't need some nice carpet mats. But uh, this is one of those projects that's definitely a labor of love. Uh, I'm very sure that the cost of actually doing this whole car up is actually definitely gonna cost more than the actual car itself. So you can get SM4s out there, both in auto and manual, for upwards of 3,000 ringgit, depending on condition. I've seen some going for three, five. I've seen some going for six, seven, eight. Uh, it all depends on condition. So yeah, it's up to you whether you want to buy one that's fully done up, which can cost you maybe about seven or eight, or you want to buy a project car like this one, which will cost you about maybe two and a half, three, maybe three and a half, and then do it up yourself. I like doing it up myself because I like to see this car coming back to life, which is uh, really, really awesome. Yes, lots of things to take care of, but uh, I know Ake, and I'm sure he's going to do a really good job once this car goes in. Yep. So there we go. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting, let's check out the bill. Yeah. Right, so one of the first builds was actually to check the wiring and the air pipe wiring as well. So we did a full check on the wiring and this was done at a different shop called K KST Car Servicing. For, for uh, your information, my Punto is there right now doing the same, checking the wiring. And that was 180 ringgit. Now here comes the big bill. The big bill at Kenzone was for a whole bunch of stuff like... Uh, for example, the battery alone was 300 ringgit. Okay, that was just for the battery. Then to service the radiator was 80 ringgit. To skim the cylinder head was 120. To test the water pressure was 80 ringgit. Uh, water pump assembly, Honda Accord SM4 original, 120. Water pipe, Honda Accord SM4, 130. A water pipe costs more than the freaking water pump. Top set gasket, so there we go, 280, that's expensive. And then we've got the timing belt cover, so the timing belt was changed, 180. Timing belt set, 100 Accord, for Honda Accord, 360. Then we've got the alternator assembly for Honda Accord SM4, a Recon one, 190. Spark plugs, 14 ringgit each. 
uh, stopper rubber, 18 ringgit, small small things like that. Power steering pump, yeah, that wasn't that was needed. 290 ringgit power window switch, 180. Steering cover for Honda Accord SM4, 25 ringgit, that's cheap. Brake fluid 58, oil filter 20, power steering oil 120, battery bracket. 28 ringgit now you'll see a lot of foc stuff here that was part of the deal with uh, kenzone so the total that i had to pay was 2006 which is not bad considering the engine's been overhauled and running so beautifully so wonderful yeah so this sponsorship part here okay please do not expect that for if you drive into Hon to uh, to uh, kenzone okay this is a this is a project that ken and i are both undertaking so he sponsored a little bit of the stuff there like engine oil aircon gas you know radiator coolant wheel alignment wheel balancing blah 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 all that so the rest of it i had to pay and it came up to 2006 plus 180 over here and then there was previous bill for the other small small stuff like the stuff i got from atip so it's gonna be about five grand at least to do up this car to the spec that i that i like and then she'll be ready she'll be ready ready for what you ask well honestly i don't know i love the car and i might keep it just as a run around but later when it's all done up if anybody's interested let's talk yeah and maybe this car will be yours if you can if i can find her a good home that'll be great but as you can see a lot of time and effort has been spent on this car and uh it's well worth it if she's gonna run that well oh yeah another thing is definitely new tires this car's running on uh, pretty old silverstone tires so yep anyway that's it for now thanks for watching it's been a while since i posted something like this and uh, i'm glad you're all still here thank you for being patient it's been uh been uh, quite difficult as you as i'm sure you can imagine but uh, i'm back and uh, hopefully i'll get to post more uh, now now that i've pretty much settled everything in terms of you know what so take care you all thanks for watching please stay safe and to my muslim brothers and sisters selamat berpuasa and uh, hope you're all staying strong there take care you all bye And so one good thing about getting all this done again, or rather redone, look at the amount of supplementary wiring that was not used anymore. Look at this. Look at all this. This was all unused. And now it's out. This was the stuff that I was trying to push up just now when I was get, first got into the car that I didn't want to get you know caught on my feet. Gone. Very nice.